if you want a perfect example of propaganda, gaslighting, if you ever question whether the media might be telling the truth or not, man, I found a clip that is rich, man, full of 100% uncut, pure, right off the propaganda tree, propaganda. Before we get to this video, make sure you hit like, share my videos, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Also, make sure that your notifications are on and they're set to all. Now, let's get into this. But first, quick commercial break. 2022 has shown us what might be coming. So if you're fed up with everything being so expensive and the threat of inflation hanging over us, it's time to take action. A precious metal IRA uses tax advantage gold and silver to keep inflation at bay and give you protection from financial nightmares. And you'll get a stunning free three ounce silver American virtue coin when you open a qualified IRA account this month. You know what I always say, you can't go wrong with noble gold. Call 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. And remember, there's always a risk of loss and past performance is not indicative of future results. Boy, I tell you, man, MSNBC. It's just, you can't get much worse than this. So guys, welcome to Kevin's Corner where I try to make some sense out of nonsense. And you know, um, there's been this rumor going around about uh, there's a crisis down at the Southern border and people who actually work down there who live it, who sees it, um, they, they recognize it. And also people with some common sense and some intelligence who have seen the plethora of video footage of hundreds and thousands of these people coming across the border, they also recognize it. You don't have to live there. You don't have to be down there on that border to know that this is a problem. All you have to do is have some eyeballs, a brain, some ears, things like that. Watch a couple clips of these people lining up for miles and miles and miles, just walking right up to our border patrol agents and saying, hey, uh, hola, I'm here. Uh, they told me to come and apply for asylum. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Well, what's your name? Okay. All you got to do is just watch that. All you have to do is find a couple clips of Boeing 747s landing on tarmacs in the middle of the night, dropping off illegal immigrants and stuff like that. Um, but... Yet, after all of that footage that's left online, there's a lady that shows up on MSNBC and tries to do the unthinkable worse than Jim Acosta when he had the nerve to be in the White House and asking Trump, Mr. President, Mr. President, why, why you keep saying it's an invasion, Mr. President? It ain't no invasion. And President Trump looked at Jim and said, Jim, you seen the video? I mean, what did you think those people were, actors? They weren't actors, Jim. All of those people sitting up on top of that wall talking about we're still coming, we don't care what President Trump says, rocking their flags, they weren't actors. Those were real illegal immigrants. But yet Jim Acosta tried to, in front of the world, say that that wasn't a caravan. It wasn't an invasion. Hundreds and hundreds of thousands were just walking. But this lady right here on MSNBC, she might have topped Jim Acosta. Boy. Y'all ready for this? Let's check it out. First of all, we should stop using the kind of, actually, even some of the imagery that's being shown right now. It's mm -hmm. like, you know, we should not be perpetuating a conversation about a crisis that is a human drama, wow. but that this United States is not being overrun, flooded by uncontrollable situations on the border. Did y'all hear that? Now, see, notice what she did. She opened up with saying, we shouldn't be showing these images. Why wouldn't you want to show those images? Because you're trying to distort reality. You don't want people to see it for what it is. You don't want people to see it in its purest form. You don't want the shock value that people would have when they look and see miles and miles and miles of people walking towards our border, ain't even trying to sneak in no more, just straight coming up to the border patrol and saying, here I am, I want asylum. So first things first, change the language, soften it up. Don't be calling these people illegal aliens or illegal immigrants start calling them undocumented citizens secondly stop showing video footage of the truth we don't want that mess we want you to imagine all of these people fleeing their country and coming here for a better life and deciding to walk through other countries that they could have stopped at and say you know what i'll get asylum here but no no they needed to get to our border for some reason so they tracked all the way through all those other countries brought their kids put everybody in danger risk getting trafficked risk getting kidnapped killed dying in the desert, all of that for asylum when they could have stopped in Mexico and got it. Hmm. So, Gaslighting 101, don't let the people see the reality. Distort it. Just create the image in their head. Kind of like COVID. 
Yeah, it was a pandemic. Everybody needed to get the shot, but yet you weren't seeing bodies laying all around outside and people dropping dead at Walmart and things like that. You weren't seeing it, but people believed it anyway because they created the image in your head. See, same thing with, uh, you know, climate change. Uh, yeah, we, we got to go ahead and destroy our whole economy because of climate change, even though the climate has relatively been the same for decades now. So with that being said, that lady goes ahead and, and tries that weak approach of gaslighting that only works on the simple minded so let's check in with someone who has first hand knowledge of what's going on because we don't want to be victims of gaslight mm. democrat light here we go, go. Yeah, and you know i saw you down in arizona a few weeks back and um i think the word has gotten out now that you know this border does not exist as we just heard uh, no, the congressman say um you know without a border we don't have a country this is this is a matter now of national security sure. who is crossing the border in your backyard well, what that. can you tell our viewers that's not happening it's in not terms happening. of tens of thousands of what? people trying to get no well we get them we get them both ways. We get them through the desert. These are military aides, men in camouflage, oh. clothes, carpet shoes. They are trying to avoid detection. Many of them already have criminal histories here in this country or in their own countries. Wow. They work directly for the cartels. They're transporting humans. They're transporting drugs. They're enslaving humans. Um, we also have the I-10 freeway, which is one of the main corridors for for human trafficking and drug trafficking into America. My guys are out there every morning. You'll see a video I just posted on Instagram and Facebook where I was out with our guys the other day. We pulled over a lady, uh, American citizen, and she had four illegals in her car and pretended like this. she had just picked up hitchhikers. Whoa. We also had a, a guy who uh, we picked up that was uh, had committed second-degree sex, uh, sexual offense in Oregon that he had been convicted of, sent back to Mexico only to come back again. So oh, okay. this is what we deal with every day. It's not getting any better. Hmm. And we're doing the best we can. But uh, the, the federal government, not the employees on the ground, they're doing an amazing job. Hmm. But the federal government in Washington, D.C., Mayorkas, Biden, all of those guys are absolutely failing the American people. So in other words, those people up in D.C. who created this crisis and want to see this crisis continue and have an invested interest in bringing a whole bunch of illegal immigrants here, regardless of the price that American citizens pay, regardless of criminals potentially sneaking in, regardless of the cartel getting rich, regardless of it being obvious that the cartel is exploiting this as well, because they're coming in their camouflage suits and stuff and army crawling and stuff. That doesn't look like they're coming here for good intentions, see? But in spite of all of that the Biden administration is okay with lying to the public and saying that we got it all under control. And then what they do is send that lady out from MSNBC as a propagandist to try to tell you, unlike this Border Patrol sheriff right there who's down there seeing it all hands on, trying to tell you it ain't even a problem. And this guy and people like him shouldn't even be showing images like this. We don't want you seeing what's really going on down there at that border. See, it's kind of like when, you know, uh, Biden first took over and they refused to let all of the media come down and take a look at what was going on down there. But under Trump, they all went down and snooped around because Trump wanted transparency. See, but the Biden administration didn't want people to see the reality of what they've created on that border. So they completely blacked out the media. And it wasn't until a couple Republicans went down there and snuck some footage that we saw that it was chaos down there. So now this lady, I guess, knows way more than this man right here who puts his life on the line. So let's hear from the White House, see what they got to say about it, because I'm sure President Biden is concerned about our border. Because that's his job, to secure it. Ukraine, uh, Kevin McCarthy says that he invited President Biden down to the border. How does the president... And he jumped at the opportunity. the border. The possible next speaker says that he wants him to go with him. So is he going to? So look, uh, he's been there. He's been to the border. What? Uh, and since he took office... When, when did he go to the border? Yeah. Since he took office, the President Biden has been uh, taking action to fix our immigration system and secure our border. She and that's why on day one, he put forward an, an immigration uh, Im immigration reform, a piece of legislation uh, to deal with uh, what is currently happening at the border. Is it working? Uh, but, you know, that we're not seeing that from Republicans. Oh, we're not Republicans seeing fall? a willingness to work with us what? on, on um, you know, fixing a situation that's been around uh, for decades now. I don't know about uh, Instead, this. they're they're doing um, political stunts 
Uh, that's what they want to do. That's how they want to take care of the situation. Uh, but in, in the meantime, you know, the president has secured record levels of funding for the Department of Homeland Security. We have over 23,000 agents working to secure the border. We've taken thousands of smugglers off the streets, and we're co cutting down on asylum pro pro processing uh, times and a number of individuals arriving unlawfully from northern Central America and Venezuela is coming down significantly because of the actions that the president has taken. Okay. So now the gaslighting just doesn't apply to MSNBC. It starts at the White House, as this woman started off with the lie. Biden has never been down to the border, not to visit it because of the border crisis. He rode past the border one time in like 2008, but never stopped. Because, see, Democrats don't want to go look at their own mess. See, they don't want to have their nose rubbed in that doo doo that they just pooped out on the floor. But you got to treat them like a puppy. That's why, you know, they need to drag them down and rub their nose in it. OK, maybe they'll stop peeing and pooping all on that border. Secondly, all the other things that she said sounds like a lot of things are going on, but it's designed to make you think they're doing stuff and the Republicans aren't. But she's not telling you why they're funding all of these new employees and what the purpose of those employees are. It is not to stop people from coming across the border. It's not to discourage them. It's to process them. Hurry up. Get them over here quickly before we lose power. We want to get as many of these people over here in this country so then we can go ahead and say, well, they're here now. We can't even send them back. We might as well give them all amnesty. Oh, and by the way, hopefully they'll all be voting for Democrats. Isn't that interesting? So black gay drop is down with the propaganda and the gaslighting too? Unbelievable. Let's get back to this propaganda at MSNBC. So I would encourage the Biden administration, as what? I have been saying from the very beginning, what you have to do is you have to differentiate <laughs> and you have to make clear that they are not going to perpetuate and fall into this rhetoric about there's a drama and a crisis of so many people coming. No. Did y'all hear this lady? You got to differentiate between. Uh, so in other words, don't allow the Republicans or other people to tell the truth. Don't allow them to assess the situation properly and say, hey, yo, that does look like a broken border. You can't deny those numbers. There's what, two million people that have crossed it in a matter of two years. Uh, it's at a record high. Fentanyl is killing people at record highs. This is a pretty big crisis. But no, no. See, we don't want you to focus on all the carnage. See, we want you to focus on the heartstrings. See, they're coming for a better life. And if you say that these people are invading our country or they're coming here legally or they're abusing our asylum um, process, then you must be what? A xenophobe, some type of racist or something. I'm sure that's what she's trying to say. See, because that's their style. That's their tactic. They know that it doesn't make sense to have an open border. And what we are witnessing is real based on this real sheriff that sees it every day. And this woman is attempting to come out there and make us believe something totally different. Now, if you're watching my video and you're falling for that, then you're part of the problem. But I'm pretty sure you're not because you're smarter than that. Let's continue hearing from somebody who really knows what's going on. Yeah, the cartels, and this is a sophisticated operation. Oh, uh, we know that for sure. Um, we saw some of the migrants arriving in uh, Philadelphia, as yeah. we just mentioned here. And, and uh, you know, a few weeks ago when the migrants were sent to Martha's Vineyard, oh, there was a big that. uproar when they just 20. got 50. We know you probably get that in the span of a 30 minute period That's some right. days, they sure. Them up um, but there's also now them. those states, what they'll do is they'll create budgetary funding for the migrants. What? We saw in New York, they have this upscale housing with Xboxes and laundry service for them. How much of this is a way now that they get, they get to have resources because of the migrants they're getting from the border where you guys are sort of begging for more help? Now, did you just hear that? upscaled houses don't forget the cell phones that they gave them don't forget the health care that they gave them don't forget not requiring them to get the covid shot no don't forget any of that don't forget traveling and sending them all over the place and putting them up in nice hotels and 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 af offering them a community college and uh vatican care as joe biden say um don't forget all of that don't forget the baby formula the big crates when our citizens um, were struggling, trying to get baby formula, the, the, the precious illegal immigrants, they had it. They had it. Now, don't forget that. Don't forget the fact that you over here as an American citizen, if you commit a crime, they will rip your babies right from your arms and say you shouldn't have committed the crime. But see, if you separate them from their, their parents, then all of a sudden you're animals. See, don't forget none of that. OK, don't forget the fact that they can repeatedly break our laws and be released right back into our interior because they don't want to bring attention to what's going on down at the border. 
you know, the lady from MSNBC, she let us know. Don't even show that stuff. We don't want to see that. We don't want American citizens looking at the fact that y'all have repeat offenders that you know came over here, broke the law, and you might just let them on out. You might allow them to flee to a sanctuary city and stuff like that. Yeah. See, don't forget what they're doing to really degrade the American citizen by prioritizing illegal immigrants over them. And that's a slap in the face. But if you're one of those people who vote for Democrats, you're okay with this. Um, yeah, maybe, maybe you should go down to South America and swap, you know, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. You know, what a slap in the face to the American it people. Is. We have American citizens yeah. on the streets, homeless, starving, MAGA, America first. Um, who need help, especially in Philadelphia. Yeah. I, I've seen pictures and videos of Kensington. Jason Jones with News Facts just did a whole piece hmm. about what's going on there in Kensington. It's, it's zombie land over there. And yet we're taking that valuable money and we're spending it in other places. In particular, we're spending it on People who came here into this country illegally, they broke the law. Democrats. You know, I don't love transporting people all over this country, but we have no other option hmm. because the federal government doesn't give us the ability to take those the people back ourselves. Government. So we have no other option but to pull, send them somewhere where they've claimed that they want to take them. And those are those sanctuary cities. So uh, good luck, Philadelphia. I think they're going to start to see firsthand just how impactful this is. Just like Martha's Vineyard did with one bus load or one plane load. Yeah, because Martha's Vineyard was supposed to be inclusive. And they had signs and stuff that said, we welcome illegal immigrants. This is a sanctuary city and there is no such thing as an illegal human and all of that stuff. And the Statue of Liberty and uh, Freedom and this is a melting pot. Until those people showed up. And then within 24 hours, they had them out of there. Okay. Gave them a hug and a kiss. Goodbye at the same time. Welcome. Okay, see you. Get them out of here. See, they don't want to be confronted with their own mess. But once again, go get yourselves, if you're a voter, go get yourselves a newspaper, roll it up real tight, okay? Okay, so it'll pop. Grab them by the back of the neck and stick their nose right in that doo-doo the next time you go to vote. And you go to work on them. You go to work on them, okay? Teach them what not to do as they sit here and lie to us and simply prioritize these people over us. But they don't want to deal with the problem. So now let's get back to this propagandist here who's trying to gaslight all of us. Es que no es así. It's yeah. not that way. English, you know what's out America. of control, Paula? And I know you know this, Paul. What's out of control on the border is absolutely the militarization of the border. The dehumanization of people at the border. See the tactic? Did y'all see that tactic? What we're going to do now is say the real problem is the dehumanization of the people on the border. Kind of like how they dehumanize all the conservatives that's running around and, uh, you know, call them uh, white nationalists, Nazis, xenophobes, homophobes, and all of the other phobes you can think of. And uh, they wonder. They wonder why our whole country is at odds with each other. Why it's fractured. Okay, because of people like this, who instead of acknowledging the problem and enforcing the law, comes up with a clever way to silence people who sees it and recognize it and got a problem with it, to demonize people who cause it for what it is. Nobody's dehumanizing these people. Frankly, I don't even blame them. If I live down there and I saw President Biden get on there and say, hey, when I get in office, I would tell him to f surge the border. I will be on my way too. See, so it's not them. It's people like her who are encouraging this down planet, trying to cover it up, trying to attack anybody who recognizes it's a problem and trying to stop it all because of a bigger agenda. Same thing with the whole Biden administration and the whole Democrat Party. They're doing this on purpose and not taking any type of knowledge from the people who actually work down there. So we better close out hearing from this sheriff who might just have the solution to the problem. And it ain't what this gaslighter just tried to tell us it is. But Mayorkas, um, you know, despite impeachment threats, his, his statement to, to a just, spokesperson, he's not stepping down. Just your reaction quickly, Sheriff Lamb. Well, I read his article, he talked about violence, and there is a lot of violence in this country because they have contributed to the divisiveness in this country. Race, religion, every time you disagree with them, they call you a name. Oh. And so it's no surprise that we're seeing a rise in violent crime, undermine the rule of law, he needs to go. Let's start securing our border. Get him out of here. My man hit it right on the head. Just like we heard that propagandist, that gaslighter talk about why we're dehumanizing these people. That is a dirty, stinking tactic. And that does not allow us to subvert the law 
break the law. That's not a green light. That's not a hall pass to break the law. Okay. Yeah. That's like saying, you know what? Uh, some of the people in America who breaks the law, you can't call them what they really are because that dehumanizes them. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer, he wasn't eating people. He's just, uh, you know, humanly inclined to dine on uh, human flesh. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, you can't, you can't qualify these things. Somebody who robs banks, uh, they're, they're financially disabled. Therefore, they uh, have a disease that causes them to have to stick their hands in the cash register and take money. See, so let's not label people what they are. Because then people will frown and say, yo, we were taught that when you come across somebody else's border, you're violating their sovereignty and their laws. But yet all these people are doing that. Why aren't you Democrats recognizing that? Why aren't you identifying it and labeling it as it really is? Or are you trying to redefine it, forget it, dismiss it, and enable it because you have another agenda? Thus, you send that gaslighter out there to try to convince us that what we see is not true. And you wonder if there's a such thing as fake news. And MSNBC allowed that person to get on TV and vomit up all of that uncut, pure, stinking, funky, disgusting, green pea filled poop smelling doo doo brown, y'all doo doo brown, doo doo brown, y'all doo doo brown, dumpster juice pus hanging out of it snot doo-doo and vomit and nothing but boogers and stank all over that propaganda and they allowed her to come out and spew that mess up and try to tell the american people go on now and eat that but not me i don't eat no propaganda man uh-huh i expose it now god bless y'all god bless america see y'all next time in kevin's corner take care God bless you. God bless America. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all those good things. And please check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like their products, please click on the link below this video. Put Kevin in a promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. If you'd like to donate to Kevin's Corner, feel free. The links are below this video if you want to be a part of my $2 a month club. Also, feel free to do that. All it entails is you simply dropping two bucks a month into one of those links below the video. Or if you want, you can drop a nice big fat lump sum in there to offset the stuff that we know goes on with Big Tech. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Make sure that you are still subscribed. And finally, set your notification button to all because YouTube is playing games, y'all. Now, God bless you. God bless America. See y'all next time in Kevin's Corner.